doing things. I had a lot of questions asked quite often, what order should I do things in? So I figured that would be a good subject to talk about. So I'm Linda Lovey, Lovey Wealth Management. Been in the business for over 25 years. And so believe me, I've seen a lot of different scenarios and I wanna help share some of that information. So when you're dealing with doing your financial planning, you all wonder what's the first thing to start with. So I've often prompted that the first thing should be to build up your cash reserve. But before you even build up the cash reserves, you wanna go through your cash flow. So build a budget, know what you're spending. Because if you don't know where your money's going, how you, can you control it? And then reach the goals you wanna reach. So then the next step, do you guys know what the next step is? Savings. 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 Retirement. Cash reserves. Cash reserves. And as I've mentioned before, typically you wanna have about six months worth of your expenses set aside. If you have more complicated situations like rentals, then you want even more. So this kind of helps you in case you have stuff like COVID come along or whatever other catastrophes that come in place to help keep things in order. Next step, this is one of the most often missed steps. And that is disability insurance. The reason why is, if you don't have your income guaranteed, how are you gonna keep everything afloat? So let's say that something happens and disability is different than workers' comp. Disability will cover you if you get your own policy, will cover you if you get injured off of a job. And there's short-term disability, which kicks in typically after a week and goes for a year. And then there's long-term disability, which kicks in after a year and typically goes to age 65. If you have the ability to buy disability through your work, then I would suggest you look at that because that's usually a more economical way of doing it. Now, the next goal. Accumulation. Let's say you want to save up for a dental payment for home. Or you want to be able to pay your next vacation with cash. Or you want to buy a new car. So this is a great goal to kind of keep working with. It's going to be shorter term, so you're not going to invest it in the market the same as with your retirement savings. But uh, just, yeah, kind of get that building so you've got that going. That way you don't have to buy stuff on credit and be paying all that interest money to credit cards. Now that you've got your house, because you had your accumulation goal, so you come up with your down payment for it, now we want to have life insurance. And this makes it so that if something happens to you, your spouse or your significant other can stay in the house, or you can leave a legacy. You can take care of the different issues. Life insurance is also a great tool that can be used for saving for retirement for or with a permanent policy. A lot of times I suggest to people to use a combo so you can use a term policy to cover a mortgage. And that way it makes it a little bit more affordable. And you guessed it when the next step is? Mm -hmm. We're a quiet group this morning. <laughs> 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 so I use two different strategies, at least with retirement. With that, I use part of the money in the market, so you have the liquidity and the opportunity for the higher return, and then a part of the money by building your own pension, which has guarantees and lifetime income. The other strategy I also like to use is using, like for example, a Roth IRA or cash value life insurance as a tax-free source of money to pay the taxes on the money that you invest that's going to be taxed, like your 401ks and other pension plans and so on. Next, if you have somebody you want to help go through college. Now this you can start earlier, but I always want to advise people, make sure that you're not overfunding this at the cost of this, mm -hmm. unless you know your kids are going to take care of you. <laughs> <laughs> And then, now that you've got your retirement going and the other good little set up the assets, then you want to look at doing long-term care insurance because this will protect all the stuff that worked so hard to build. And I've got a really good product for this. Now, what do you think the last picture is? Last piece of the puzzle. Advice. Vacations <laughs> under your accumulant. Uh, a financial plan. Oh, if you were going to go to New York, 
you drive to New York, would you use a map or a GPS? Because you're going to have detours, delays, you need to know where to get gas, where to get food. So just like with a retirement plan, whenever you have one area changed, like say a birth of a baby, that's going to change where your money flows. So by having a financial plan, you know how to move things around, redo your financial plan every three to four years, it'll keep you on target, and then you'll know exactly how you're doing. Are you saving enough? Do you have enough protection coverage? Uh, do you need to work two years longer because you lost a job for a little while? Whatever. Just kind of gives you that peace of mind to know that you're on the right track. So that's basically how all that works. If you want to know more about what a financial plan covers, I've got videos on my website under www.llovie. And if you go under common questions, you'll see a whole series of videos that I have. And under there is a financial plan. You can look at that video. It's a 10 minute video. And we'll talk a little bit more about that. And there's a bunch of other videos on there too for information for you. So again, I'm Linda Lovey, Lovey Wealth Management. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Linda. If you want to, uh, one more time, let us know how to get a hold of you so okay. we can do our financial planning. All right. So my number is 775-544-4714. You can also contact me through my website, which is www.llovie.com. And uh, my email is llovie at brokers, B-R-O-K-E-R-S-I-F-S dot com. Thank you.